So hey you, welcome back to another video. First of all, I know I'm looking very great. And the biggest advice that I can give you this year is don't use any devices, any devices without reading the manual. Best tip of the year. So let's just ignore like this never happened and move on to the video. Thank you guys for all your love and support you have shown for my previous video. It really means a lot. And after that video, I was like, now what should I upload? That's when a weird thought striked. Don't I have exams after two days? And I was like, so if you don't know, I am a final year computer science engineering student and after heating my brain a lot, I came up with the best idea that I could. Why don't I take it up like a challenge and learn the entire six month syllabus in just two days? I have never tried this and it's my first time actually, you know, studying everything all at once just before the exams. Why do I do this all the time? So now you know the truth, these tricks actually helped me secure a good grade at my school and college but not during entrance exam because you had to prepare hard for it. So if you are a college student like me who is opening your syllabus, notes and books and are having your exams in a couple of days then this video is going to be a gem and it is going to help you a lot in saving time as well as getting good grades or you are gonna end up like this. All is well. The first step is actually setting a proper study environment and also having a proper plan. Uh, the time right now is 9 pm and it's night. The main reason why I prefer studying at night is because I am a night owl and I prefer studying at night mainly because of the pure silence that it offers and no one is there to call me or no important messages so like I won't have any form or fear of missing out something important. So that's why I prefer studying at night and uh, during night I am more efficient and productive so you have to try out uh, morning as well as the night part and see which you are comfortable with you know some may be comfortable during the morning because that brings them positivity and all and that is not the case with me uh, so what I do is during morning period and especially during the afternoon session I sleep a lot uh, so that I could sit at night to study so that's my strategy during examinations so my planning is pretty simple there are five modules and i have to complete two and a half modules in the first half or the first day and the second day i have to complete the rest of the modules and each module i will be devoting like three hours so i need like a total of 15 hours to complete the entire syllabus that's not going to happen because of the distractions that come in between uh, i know but yeah that's the deadline that i set and i really hope that it works so yeah bringing on the positivity and going to get started studying for the exam don't know what is going to happen so yeah it's going to be really interesting and fun i hope so because i have so much to learn so guys just finished off with uh, one module and currently my big brain is full so i really want a quick uh, power nap or something because i want to take a break few moments later oh, two very boring minutes later so yeah let me quickly take a quick break and come back and I really hope that I don't sleep because if I sleep then I'm dead. So I will try my best to keep all the alarms like after 30 minutes in order to wake up and then continue my study. So yeah, ah, okay. Hey guys i just woke up right now and i did not hear any part of my alarm ringing yesterday uh, and right now i have 24 hours left with me and every microsecond is going to be important for me and i have to complete four modules right now and the strategy is pretty simple read and learn each and every part of the important answers first and then try to finish off each module that is the only part or the only way of finishing everything so yeah so guys right now started with the module uh, three and this is day two 
so i have to complete a lot actually i had complete module 3 4 5 uh, because yesterday uh, things did not go as i planned and i was able to learn only two modules because i was kind of lazy and uh, i slept at night so that's why uh, today i want to finish three modules and it is going to be really challenge uh, and you know i have switched off my smartphone and i have uninstalled all the social media like instagram snapchat and uh, all Uh, because I was using it a lot as well, so yeah. So let me quickly share with you the third step that is learning how to learn efficiently. And uh, you know nowadays YouTube is flooded with these type of informations, but I wanted to share some of my honest feedback and suggestions that really worked for me during the exams. So the first strategy is the RRR strategy, not the movie, but the strategy is called RRR because of the three points that is read, rewrite, and revise. So that's what I got, and I made it up. So you know, I'm very proud of that. So first, what I do is basically I read the entire portion and try to understand everything, and then try to recall or rewrite. So rewriting is basically what I prefer because when I take short notes about something, you know, that really helps me during the last stages. Like before examination, when I try to revise, it becomes handy. These short notes actually become handy. So that's why I use this technique, and it really is helpful. So the second step is actually priority setting and time scheduling. So what priority setting means is before the examination, you are not a machine, and you can't learn every portion. So what I do is I prioritize the things that I want to learn. I do smart work instead of hard work, and I try to analyze previous year, previous year question papers and. try to learn all the important topics first and then only i try to learn the entire syllabus only if i have time and that actually works you know also i refer uh, model questions and stuff like that because sometimes they ask direct questions and that might not be the case with all but you know some teachers actually ask previous year questions or the pattern would be same so that really helps and the second is actually time scheduling and i think i have mentioned this earlier in the video like setting deadlines for each module because you know setting deadlines actually help me uh, learn in a time restricted manner otherwise i would be spending like 3 uh, to 5 hours for a single module and that actually shed uh, if i do like that then i won't be able to complete the entire portion so what i do is i will go two hours for one module and if it's a like an easy subject or a theory subject what i do is i just read off the entire portion and i try to complete it within like 2 to 3 hours This my niche play my role what you hold look by best on reach your shit dirt you get curved i just sorry with that is hello i have currently completed like uh, four modules and i have read the entire portions i won't say i have learned i would say i have read uh, and right now i have to finish one more module and after that what i'm going to do is pretty simple take a quick sleep and i won't be sleeping this entire night i think so i'll be sleeping like for 3 hours which is not at all recommended by the way but i don't have any options right now so yeah it's my niche play my role what you hold look by best on reach your shit dirt you get curved i just saw on reach So guys, something crazy happened with me right now. So I just completed the fourth module, and then when I tried to remember the second module that I learned yesterday, uh, nothing is there in my memory. It's like completely wiped off. I don't know why this happened. I think is it because I was sleepy when I studied that or anything. But uh, that's when I understood the importance of revision, guys. So now what I'm going to do is quickly relearn the entire thing that I learned. uh and try to do something so as to stick the module to in my head since later okay guys so done with everything and i think i have learned something for my exam but i have no confidence right now i really hope that you know the exams turn out to be easy and yeah let's see what happens more moments later guys i am back after the exam and the exam turned out to be okay i would say many of my probability and guesses worked so i am really happy for that but the time cheated you know there was lot to write in this examination and you know there was a shortage of time but apart from that you know i'm really happy with how it turned out to be and if you are also having your exams right now and you have not at all started learning uh, then stop regretting and start taking control of the time that's left with you so that's it for this video guys i really hope you like this video and found this informative uh, also share this video with your friends and also do subscribe to my channel because it really means a lot guys thank you bye